Yo, the hair dilemmas continue, man. I am loving this whole like relaxed look. So ah! I just did all of this for nothing. Such pleasure, you if you don't know what you're doing, you gotta figure it out. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. The leaves are so unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree. today do my there's a little section in the back that's fuzzy it got like just right back here it's bushy oh, I was <laughs> we were dancing and listening to music the other day and I my hair wasn't wrapped when I was doing it so the back of my the nape of my neck got sweaty I mean I was sweating <laughs> all over you know dancing the nape of my neck got sweaty now I did take the flat iron quickly and just I went over it but clearly I didn't do a good job because now that I've taken my hair out I didn't take my hair down yesterday so now that I've taken my hair out it there's a little bit of a bush just right here at the nape of the neck I need to find yeah I need to find my my hot comb so I can just hot comb the what you call it the roots I like my hair straight I don't even see myself bumping the ends in any way I can't wait for my clip-ins to come in because I just see myself keeping it straight because obviously bumping the ends and all that curling and waving and whatever would put more heat on my hair and I don't even feel like I need that I love how this feels it's different I I'm not doing to my edges what I normally do which is the whole got to be thing so my edges aren't as laid as I normally would like so I'm getting used to that I put got to be hairspray on my edges today and that didn't do what I needed I could do ebb and edge control but that doesn't last all day and then I'm worried about the edges getting gunky and then when I'm rinsing it all the time, my hair curling up again. I don't know. Will it curl up again? Will it not? I don't even know. So I'm just here, girl. I'm finishing up a campaign right now that I, oh, 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 wrong thing, wrong thing, that I need to submit and then I'm going to, the sun is not going to, but I'm going to film elsewhere, not right here. I'm gonna change up my filming scenery today just because why not so I'm gonna take my camera into the front entryway and maybe even the living room and film it feels so weird still having my hair pressed but I love it my my how you call it my clip-ins that I got from my Aliexpress should, it was seven day shipping and I bought them on Saturday so they should be here soon I wish they would come like right now this is bothering me this just little bush back here it's weird I need to, I don't know where my flat, my, what's it called? What's it called? Hot comb? Whatever. I don't know where it is, honey. So I need to go find it. Okay. Right now I am airdropping my footage from my computer to my, from my phone to my computer. I do a lot of airdropping. I love airdropping. I love it. It's such an, an amazing invention. The sun is on my face as you can see. And it just, I'll just put you here. It just is what it is. I'm trying to do better at drinking my water because I haven't been the most fantastic part. Uh oh, why did I, what am I doing? I'm just making all kinds of decisions here that I'm not even clear on. Okay, downloads. I haven't been drinking my water like I should. Um, so, so far it's 10 30 in here. Look at how much I have. Have drunk not a lot. I wanted to work, work out today. Didn't do that. You know what is so annoying now? Since I since I updated my phone, when I film on my phone and send the clips to my computer, I'm wearing a red lip today, which is unusual, huh? Which what lip is it? 
we're, we're, we're on a roller coaster, okay? Just hang tight. Buckle, buckle your seatbelt. Red Wishes by Charlotte Tilbury. It's so cute and comfortable. It's a comfortable map. I, what was I saying? Oh, bless his name. God, what was I saying to you? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. I forgot what I was saying to you. <laughs> That's annoying. Hi. You know, certain red lips will make your teeth appear white and some, not appear because if it's white, it's white. Certain red lips, let's just put it the other way. Certain red lips will highlight the yellow in your teeth. So choose a red lip that has a blue undertone. If you get a red lip that has an orange undertone, so a warm undertone, if you have stains on your teeth, Oh, Jesus. If you have yellow stains on your teeth, it's going to show. You get a red lip that has a blue undertone, which is cool, then it will in some ways neutralize any yellow stains you have on your teeth. But we are whitening, aren't we? Although I know that not everyone can whiten because you may have sensitive teeth. So talk to your dentist, honey. Don't be don't be out here whitening and then all your teeth fall out. Because if they fall out, that ain't gonna do me. You know what I'm saying? You and me don't even know each other. If your teeth fall out, because I want to hear it. I haven't whitened in a long time. I really haven't. I haven't felt like, like I kind of feel like I need to, but then I'm kind of like, I'm okay. I just haven't done that. You know what I'm saying? I have never moved my filming setup before, and I want to try something new by filming right here in the. That's garbage. That actually has to go outside. But I want to try something new by filming in front of this somehow. I have to be at an angle, obviously. So let's see how this setup is going to go, okay? Oh my god, I just spilled water trying to get this out from. Oh god, this is annoying. This better come out good because this is taking me a lot, okay? Here's my camera and lens. Here's the adapter that I use to keep continuous power going to my camera. I have, a, I have a, so the kind of plug that I have in my studio has a remote and once I turn it on, the camera and my lights come on together. So I don't know how to turn the camera on without that plug. <laughs> I never do this, so it's like, what? Okay, you like to the camera is on, but why isn't it? Oh, I know why. <laughs> I need to connect this to my computer. Oh my God, I gotta connect the USB. Lord, oh, I need the adapter. Hold on. See all this? Wow. Let's take a look at this background. Oh, oh, it was dark. <laughs> Hold on. ISO. What are we doing with the ISO? Hmm. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to bring lights over here because I just do not feel like it. That's just going to be asking for way too much. So let me see. I have my mic. Check, check, mic. No, the mic's not on. Got to check and make sure the mic is on. That is the worst thing. My God, today. Okay, check, check, mic, testing, testing. Okay, good. The mic is on. This looks okay. It's so different. I... This is so different, and I'm so low. Do I want to, am I going to change the lens? Mm. This looks so low, I don't know. Okay, let me get my chair, whatever. What chair am I using? I don't even know what chair I'm going to use. <sighs> God, okay, I think it looks like nice, it's different. Can you see? It looks <laughs> different, you know? I, uh, I gotta go bring a light. Jesus. I gotta go bring a light because I'm seeing light here, but I'm not seeing light here. Do you see that? Uh, okay. First, let me get my height down. Am I, do I wanna sit here like this? Do I even like this vantage point? Oh my God, I think I hate it. I don't know, I feel like this is too close to me, this plant and stuff. And if I come closer, then all you're seeing is my face. And this isn't the kind of video where I just want you to see my face. I want you to see, this is not gonna work. I want you to see uh, my actual, at least like tummy up. Wow, I believe I need to change not the lens, I'm using a 35 lens. I believe I need to change where I'm sitting. 
Okay. Uh, I got to relocate to the living room. I wasn't quite ready to do that, but I have to do that because this is just not going to work. Okay, we are relocating to the living room. Such pleasures you you bring me. Oh my God, that noise is gonna kill everything. Oh. <laughs> okay, so there's gotta be something in the ceiling. I need to fix those pictures. Something in the ceiling or something going on around here, right? So it, oh. Okay, so I'm so annoyed. First of all, I feel like I could just use this camera to film. I don't know if I should have even done all of what I just did. I really and truly could and should just use this camera to film over here. Why did I just come and bring this camera? Well, because I wanted high quality. But do I need to do all of that? I don't believe that I do. So I just, I just did all of this for nothing. Like, do you hear that? It's in the ceiling and I feel like it's, it's not, I feel like it's always when the HVAC system is on, there's something up there that is being blown and it's making that noise. It's so irritating and we haven't ever gone to look at it. So filming in here is actually going to be kind of annoying unless I'm constantly talking because when I'm not talking, you'll hear it. Okay, I really want to film right here, so I figured it out. I put everything back. I'm so irritated. I want a new spot. So here's what I did. I just brought the microphone on my boom pole. All my tech stuff is linked below in a tech category. You'll find the boom, oops, the boom, wait, whatever. You find a boom pole, you'll find a microphone, okay? My battery died. Basically, I got the boom pole going. I'm gonna film on this camera. I want the mic to be closer to me so I have better sound. We're gonna see how this works. I just filmed a video. That looks good, but I have no sound. I hate using this microphone. I liked using the other road mic that did not need to be turned on. Oh my God. I hate this so much because how in the world am I going to have the same energy, say the same things, like all of that? I, oh my God, I hate this so much. This is the second time I, I literally have not even eaten. I've been taking slices of bread as I was moving around. It's one, it's almost two o'clock. I haven't even eaten and I really just need to do this video. And let me not fail to mention that in my frenzy of trying to move this here and all this and all that, I knocked down a water that was on my desk and it spilled onto my keyboard and now I can't press. Certain buttons don't work on the keyboard. so. Not only did I just film a video that had no sound, I also need to get a new keyboard ASAP, like tomorrow. And I don't feel like driving to Best Buy right now. Jesus. I think I Instacart, Instacart can, Instacart can uh, bring me one today. Oh my God. Because Best Buy is on Instacart, so. I'll just do that because I ordered, I ordered something. Was it? I ordered a microphone on Instacart uh, from Best Buy through Instacart one day and it came the next morning. So that was good. I just feel so irritated. Wow. Like, this is annoying. I see that there are keyboard. I see that there are off brand, off, what you, whatever keyboards, but I don't know if I can or should trust that. So I'm gonna just purchase a Mac wireless keyboard 
my energy is depleted. I'm just, wow, wow, this is 135 hours. Oh, because it has the numbers on the right side. I don't need that one. It's too long. It's too wide. Okay. You know, so I just got an order in of some jewelry that I purchased. My scalp, the hair on my scalp is getting wet. Like, not terribly, but I can tell a difference between there and here. It's getting oily. And today is, what, day four? <laughs> uh, what? What's going on? Okay. <sighs> Am I supposed to use dry shampoo? I don't even know. Okay, I've never... Have I ever used that? No, I haven't ever used that. Okay, these earrings just came in. These medium size hoop earrings, really cute, Amazon. I'm planning on doing a jewelry video of some items that I have from Amazon that you might like. Comment below, let me know if you would love to see that video. And then I also got these in. I only have one ear piercing. I had two, but I let it close up like 12 years ago because it wasn't healing well and I didn't really feel like I needed it. But now I want to wear more than one earring on my ear so i want another piercing and maybe two maybe what i want is two piercings so three total but i got this one too which i think is really cute so this is what it would look like with the stones in the front like that it's a little tiny i'm not sure if you would call this a huggy is it gonna focus no I'm not sure if this would be a huggy or not. Maybe not. I don't know. But it would be like this. And then you have the stones right here in the front. So should I get two piercings or three? Because I've seen other earrings. Like I kind of want to get three. I just want to be jeweled, jewelried out. It's just cute. It's a cute vibe. Whatever. So I have this. I'm going to do the second hole for now and see how I like it. And then if I feel like it, I'll do another one. I don't know where to go. Claire's like a two-year-old. I got to figure this out. So this just came in so cute. I'm washing my face soon, so taking this off. The quality feels good, not, not heavy at all. And it feels solid. So these do feel good. I'll link these below, but you can also just wait for my jewelry video where I do a roundup. I ordered some more. The others are not here yet, so we're going to see, you know. But I love that little earring. I just hate when you can get your piercing. I mean, back in the day at least, I'm not sure about now, but back in the day, the earrings they gave you when you pierce your ears, my golly, Miss Molly, it's like, what is this? What are you trying to put on me? Some hideous stone, honey. Curology came in, thank the Lord. My face is feeling itchy today. I need my prescription. This thing took ages to come in. This is the big bottle. And my prescription is tretinoin, clindamycin, and niacinamide. Praise his name. So I'm going to wash my face and apply my topical cream because my face is itchy man it was i went it, it's been a while since i've done my treatment because i ran out so it's been too long obviously and my mouse came in instacart dropped it while i was out so i need to pair this the keyboard excuse me, my keyboard the keyboard does work but some buttons i have to like press several times i don't have time for that i don't have time for guessing games and all these i don't have time I need to work and I need to work it in peace. So I just bought it anyway. So I'm going to just donate this mouse so I can deal with it if they don't mind, but I definitely mind. So there's that girl. It was $105 plus tax on Instacart, whereas it's $99 plus tax directly from Best Buy. But it's Instacart. It was sent, it was brought to me. This one looks different. Oh, yeah, this one is different from mine. It's a newer version. I mean, mine is old. Not that this makes any difference to show you. Mine is older. My computer is is older. Oh, I get another cord. Cool. Thank you. I don't mind. Here's the old one. I need to de what? How do you say it? Take the Bluetooth. Unpair it. Unpair it, and then pair this new one. I didn't want to get the off-brand. I don't have time. I don't have time to like play games. Like, is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? Is it gonna give me issues? I have to work in peace. Okay, so this is what it is. I came with my clip-ins to come in. I kind of want to curl the bottom of my hair, leave it straight, but give a little bit of a thing at the bottom. I don't know. My hair is also not layered. I kind of like it straight. I don't know. I'm just enjoying. All right, let me take off the old magic keyboard and then turn on this new. Oh, I think I need to be charged. 
Magic keyboard is the only keyboard connected to this Mac. Yes, I want to remove it. And oh, I already see the other one ready to go. Magic keyboard. Yes, you are already paired. This one has. Oh, never mind. All right, Magic Keyboard. Okay. Oh, how did you already put my? This already gave a nickname to the keyboard. How do you? How does the computer already know my nickname? This is sick. This is actually sick. The computer knows my nickname. The keyboard knows my nickname. That is crazy. I just bought this. Let me see. Some of these letters were accent up, honey. Is it okay? Oh, hi. What up? Good morning. So, yesterday my clip ins came in and I purchased on AliExpress, I purchased 20 inch and 22 inch. They're actually longer than I expected. So, I put the 20 inch in. I forget how many strips it comes with, but I didn't use all of them because I still have some left over the shorter ones, the shorter clip ins. But this is long. It's maybe six inches longer than my hair or something like that. I put them in. They're not tight to my scalp because obviously I had a blow dry. So it's like it, it, it doesn't have much to hold on to. So they feel loose, but that's okay. Like I'm not going skydiving, so whatever. So this is the list. So here's my hair and here's the clip in. Huh. So there they are. I wrapped it last night and it was okay. Here's the thing though. I don't want to wrap my hair with clip-ins in anymore. It just didn't feel like a tight wrap. Although I did work out and can I feel my scalp a little bit? It's okay. The clip-ins are not, you know, they're not clutched on. They're not clutched on. So that just feels weird to me, but that's okay. Now I stopped them right here, which is good. I wanted it to really look natural at the top. Problem I'm having right now is that it's day five of my of my silk press, which I love. Okay, it's day five, and my issue is that it is oily. I don't know how people do this for one month. Have you ever had a silk press, and did you keep it for a month? Now I remember back when I was relaxed, I had to get my hair washed every Friday because it was oily. There's just no way. There's just no way. And now I'm thinking. For the next two days, what should I do? Because I want to keep my hair straight, but maybe I do a slick back ponytail, like take the clip-ins out, attach one of my ponytails, and then my hair will be like really, really flat, so it'll be nice. I could do my half up, half down, not with the clip-ins, but with my situation, but the, I, don't want the, I don't want the synthetic situation. So I'm trying to think of a different way to finagle the silk press. I have a half, a U-part wig that I made nine years ago that I could put on but again this top is mad greasy I have not put anything in my hair nothing except for a little bit of edge stuff when I was doing my edges literally nothing in my hair right this is my finger okay I just did my skincare it's just lotion it's not shiny right check this out do you see that oil now that is actually not even a lot hold on like it is oily yo I'm so shocked I'm reminded now about what used to happen when I was relaxed. Like, it even just looks oily. Look how it's all together. That's not how it should be. It should be flowy and fluffy. So I'm sitting here like, oh gosh, okay. <sighs> so there's no way in, on God's green earth that I'm keeping this so press more than a week. It's day five right now and I need to film content and I'm trying to think, should I do it like this and then make sure my edges, like I'm gonna really slick my edges down because this is the end of the end. <laughs> I was trying not to put a lot of product on my ends because I just didn't want it to be gunky and gross. But this is the end of the end. So I am about to use my got to be so that my edges can be really late. But I wonder if I should take my clippings out. I was thinking a ponytail, but then the ponytail will be thin. And I'm not really interested in the thin ponytail. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm not, the options are endless. But I don't have any options because yesterday I noticed the grease, but today it's even more so. And it's nice to know that my hair produces oils on its own. Hello. But like, here's a clipping right here. But like, what in tarnation? I can't be dealing with that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just sitting here like, what in the whole entire world am I supposed to do right now? 
And one of the issues that I hate about going to a stylist, unless like back in the day I had a standing appointment, I never had to worry. All I had to do was cancel when I couldn't go. I never had to be like, okay, I'm, I'm booking for, no, she just knew I was coming. One of the things that I hate is that it's hard to get an appointment. These stylists are busy. I mean, it's a good issue. It's a good problem for them to have, but it's, pro it's terrible for those of us who want to get in. So I can't even get an appointment. Like, less the name of the Lord. So now, oh my gosh. Okay, I don't have time to sit here and think of a new hairstyle, so I'm going to just have to finagle this right here. Now I wish I had some cute clips to put right here and right here to keep the hair behind my ear. This is popping out too much, and it looks greasy and gross i've never done a dry shampoo but now i'm sitting here like should i do a dry shampoo would that even help me because my god i mean i didn't put anything in my hair not even hairspray and just look at this i did brush it when i was in oh i don't have that bra, the boar bristle type this is in the bathroom i don't feel like getting up but oh, i gotta be careful this i just i just combed out my clip in and again the clip in is it's softly adhered because my hair is so straight, so it's not very secure. Okay, I'm trying to combine the hair a little bit so that it doesn't look so one, 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 one. And go behind the ear. Wow. Yo, the hair dilemmas continue, man. The hair dilemmas freaking continue. It's always a hair dilemma, you know? My God, today. Yeah, so there's my hair. Yeah, I mean, I like the clip-in idea, I gotta say. It's strange that it's not adhered like it normally would be because my hair is so straight. But, like I said, like, it just is what it is. I need my hair washed. And I don't want to do this myself. I like it done well. I don't want to silk press my own hair. Like, what if I break my hair? That's a lot of work. I don't have that kind of blow dryer anyway. Yo, the one she had was mad hot. Like, I'm not about to do all that. Okay, let me go about what I got to do right now, and then I'm going to holler at you. Yo, so how about I have not eaten yet today. I had a late start to even filming my video because I was trying to film it in my living room, and everything I was doing wasn't working out. The background wasn't how I wanted it to be. I ended up filming in the in the entryway, but that took forever. Like, it just took forever to do this today, and I have pressing things that I need to do. Oh. <sighs> And then I have therapy in 10 minutes. I haven't eaten at all today. I need to go make something to eat right now in 10 minutes. I asked her to do a voice call instead. So I have my earpiece in because I'm going to answer it on my phone through the app because I need to eat and I don't want her watching me eat and I can mute while I chew. But like, wow. And then I need to go pick up Nini, obviously, because it's carpool time at three o'clock. And it's like, wait, like I have stuff that I need to do. I just got approval for a video that I want to put up today and I need to like get all the links and ah, I was just like, ah! So, wow, okay. And I, <laughs> because I shot in the entryway, I had to move all my stuff back to the studio, which I did already. It's just a lot to move my stuff around, which is annoying. I've barely drank any water today. I just got a package in the door. I need to move, like, I need to move this stuff. I just got a package at the door. I don't know what it is. Let's see. I got this Amazon box. Don't know what this is. Got garbage over here that needs to go. Let me put this box, oop, this box here. I need to move this table. I got my shoes on the floor. I got laundry over here that needs to be done. I... I want to what is that? I want to do a better job of showing the times like this because it can seem as though everything is peachy keen and although it is in general there's some reality to this like a little bit of frenzy there's a little bit of frenzy that happens sometimes it's not ideal but it happens nonetheless and right now I'm feeling it a little bit let's see what package Oh, Target. What did I buy from Target? Oh, I bought a robe. <laughs> I saw, I've been seeing this robe that, I saw the robe in person at Target and I liked it. I didn't get it because I'm like, I got so much stuff. But then now, you know, we be influenced by influencers. I've been seeing people wear it on YouTube and I'm like, wait, that's the robe that I saw a minute ago and I want it. So I got that. Okay, so I'm going to make my usual, it's just so easy. The egg and cheese sandwich, okay, and then toast. I'm gonna toast the bread. I need to do dishes, whatever. It just is gonna be 
what it's going to be. I had to film a video today. It's just going to be what's going to be. So the egg and cheese sandwich, I have an avocado. I'm going to do that. Oh, is the frying pan dirty? Ah! Oh, Christmas tree. The leaves are so unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree. To Sarah Jakes on my what on my in my ear and I just paused it and it it changed the video that's annoying okay oh uh, that's annoying okay good morning I just opened up a new box of rapid excuse me rapid strips you can't even see this because you know I live in these when I do my hair it's a box of six of these Amazon and then I bought another one of these La this lash glue. I haven't talked talk to you about it because I was trying to get a handle on how I like it and I do. It's very different. I'm used to using, I need to wash my hair, the, you know, bonding glue. We already know, right? And I said, you know what, after 15 years, let me try something different. I like this. It's a lot thinner. It comes on a lot thinner. It's not as thick of an application as the bonding glue obviously is. So that I had to get used to and it dries a lot faster than bonding glue that I had to get used to. So it, it, I felt like it wasn't even on, but I, I've gotten a handle of it and I do like it. So it's Kiss INV Super Stronghold Eyelash Adhesive. It doesn't come off as easily. It doesn't matter. I like it. I needed to change. I just sprayed on one of my fragrances that I bought from the Sephora Holiday Savings event. I'm so excited. I'm doing a roundup. Um, now I'm printing out all the stuff I want to discuss. It just makes things easier for me. It doesn't matter. I just sprayed it and I mixed it with Autumn Vibes and oh so it's by the fireplace replica and autumn vibes i sprayed the both of them on my wrist wowzers absolutely insanely good and yeah i'm just unboxing a few things so i i had already intended on doing a reel because i wanted to celebrate my mom because you know i don't do that on my socials my social my social is for me right but I just knew that I wanted to do a reel because I've seen touching reels of people's families, all that stuff. And I think it's so nice. And I want to celebrate my mom because she deserves it, right? So I had already, I already had the clips and I just hadn't gotten around to doing it yet. And right now I was like, let me just put the reel together. I thought about speaking over it, but that I couldn't even muster up to be able to do. There was just no way. I just could not get my words out of my mouth. And even as I was editing the reel, it was just tears, right? And now I've posted it and I normally don't look at my comments right after I post something because I don't want to like be focused on who's engaging and not who but how many engage how much engagement I'm getting and how much I'm not so I hate that so I just usually post a ghost well for this one I wanted to look because anyway I want to look right and I just posted today's vlog about this and the comments the comments are getting me and it's like it's the comments of like, wow, I'm watching this and I'm tearing up, but I just want to make sure he's not listening. But also what's getting me in are the comments of, wow, I actually have such a headache. The comments of, I wish my mom was here so I could do the same thing, right? Like, you know, I, oh God, I don't consider myself to be a morbid person, but I do realize the reality of older folks in our lives we call her old lady right old lady you know i do realize the the reality of our parents and i'm just like god anyway i don't want to get into too much of that but i'm just reading all these comments i'm just like oh my god i just and what is so what also intrigues me it are posts that i make that enlist or solicit comments from people that don't normally comment, at least that I don't normally notice comment. So it's interesting as I'm looking right now, maybe it's because I don't look right away. Maybe that's wrong too. But even as I'm looking right now, I'm seeing comments from people that I don't normally notice who comment and it's just like, wow. But wow in the sense that this touched them, right? Like this, this touched so many people. And I just chose the song Boys to Men Mama because that's the only time I can think of. I wanted to use Sweet Mother, I No More Forget You, but it's too upbeat. This is more of a sentimental 
thing so I just used this but I just wanted to celebrate her she doesn't even know that I made the reel and I'm about to send it to her but she's gonna be crying I hate to I don't see my mom cry often I really don't and I I don't want to make her cry she already has cried like a million times but and I was gonna tag her but then I don't know I don't want to make her cry you know I don't I don't like to give her a reason to cry oh my god see look I can't even like See, like, I can't even deal. Oh, there's like this. I, I don't. I don't know if I should continue looking at these comments. Can you hear this nose? I don't know if I should continue looking at these comments. My God. which is nice and short great to film if you're sitting close to the camera but so that the camera so that the mic is not on the camera because it picks up the sound of it auto focusing this is great and it's also great because it's a little bit closer to you I'm I got this because it's just easier when I'm taking this contraption elsewhere so love that I'll link it and of course you can bend this and tighten as needed so that the mic is not in your face now this is obviously short and that's why I keep extension cords this one is real long but of course you can buy a shorter extension cord this is long for when I am doing my clothing hauls and then the camera is far from me but then the mic is on top of me on the boom pole hello come on production listen this is by more than just a cute picture. Hello. You gotta know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, you gotta figure it out. And I was just sitting here and I'm like, I should see. See, I just made it shorter. I'm like, I should see if there's some sort of shorter pole that I can use so that I'm not taking that boom pole with me into the living room or even this extender, expandable mic situation. It's just too much to be carrying around, yo. And show sure enough, so here the extension has this piece, it's like the A and the B or whatever you call it. And then here we go, right into the camera, baby, 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 okay? And then I'm gonna move this into the living room. Oh, so, man, I had so many packages to open today 
and then packages coming in you know orders coming in so my two of my Sephora orders came in today which was nice was it today or yesterday today I suppose yeah they came in separately today I went to rest excuse me where are we Okay. I meant to rest today that did not happen so many moving parts like checking email like looking at my to-do list like we have a trip coming up soon like holiday gifts like just I had to get packages open the packages uh, sort things out wrap gifts so many things and now now my work day is over you know so there's that i got a, i got two samples in from my sephora order one of which is one of which is chanel number no. five i recognize that i don't have a chanel fragrance and i deserve to have a chanel fragrance but i'm you know there are fragrances that i just sniff and right away i'm like need it now like the long comb sample i had i was like need it today like this is overdue the chanel one i'm like I don't know it, it's something <sighs> okay so I have Kenzo flower which is powdery and I love that one I absolutely love Kenzo flower this is a powdery floral is that what it said powdery something and I like the powderiness of it but something is just not floating my boat or finding my lost remote do you understand where did I put it it's also very light, so I can see this being mixed, but I also just feel like it's Chanel, for God's sake. You know, why mix it? Let it just stand alone, because alone she is amazing. I just... Where did I put it? Why can't I smell it? Oh, here it is. It's like here. I'm trying to get over the feeling that it smells like a 50-year-old mom. Because I've got some very mature fragrances. Jo Malone uh, Velvet Rose and Oud is not for teenagers. You understand? But this one, I don't know. I got this sample. You know, I'm going to spray some more on. Yo, we're going to the new swimming class today. They're going to be like, dang. i got to let it. This isn't one that is, again, knocking me off of my feet right away. I want to see how I feel and then I got a sample. it does feel like smell like baby powder and then I got a sample of lazy Sunday morning replica I like it too but again it isn't one that I'm jumping off of a cliff for and I'm trying to <laughs> trying to see if there are any other any other things that I want because the Sephora sale is almost over for them so that's why I'm like trying to figure this out why does somebody text me y'all Oh my god, it's obviously a wrong number. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you saying right now? What up? I'm about to have my therapy session right now. She says she needs to do audio, which actually works for me because it works for me. I don't mind. It's through the app, the website. I could use my phone and go log on the app and talk to her, or I just use the computer. I already ate, so I don't need to do that right now. I'm gonna do my makeup as we chat, actually. So I'm waiting on her to boom, boom, to call in. And then we gonna do that. I need to wash my hair, but I'm dragging my feet. I can't lie. I'm like just dragging my feet. I saw an opening to get my hair done, but the time didn't work, yo. Here it is. Hi there. You can barely even see me. I can't do this. Hold on. I have not. Oops. Okay, here we go. I have not done my makeup and put a, a hat on. I don't think ever. Or if I did, it's been a long time. This hat is not on very tight at all, which is helpful because I don't want to necessarily take off my contour. Like it just feels weird to have something so tight. I am loving this whole like relaxed look or whatever. Amazon earrings. The hat is also Amazon. I'm gonna link it and stuff in case you want it or whatever. I'm headed out right now. I just wanted to show y'all that I look cute. If I look cute. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna let you know. Mm -hmm.